Um, all right, that sounds good. So chapter three, movement through space, Excel, exa, oh, I hate this word, Excelo, <laughs> <laughs> accelerometer and geolocation sensors. Uh, could you tell us a bit more about this chapter? Yeah, so the accelerometer is basically a sensor on almost all devices. Um, but every Android device I've ever seen has had it for sure. And, um, you know, it can be used to detect basically shifts in space. So you move the device and it detects, hey, there's, there's some sort of movement, physical movement that's been, that's been done here. And you can adapt the input from those sensors in order to manipulate objects in your application. So, you know, as far as a uh, application or a, a demo or activity that you could do to, um, you know, take advantage of this, again, you could use an image on the screen and just adjust that image's X and Y position or its scale based upon movement from the accelerometer sensor. Mm -hmm. In terms of geolocation, uh, that's, a, that's another sensor that's available on really all Android devices, or most. Um, everyone that I've ever seen, again, has a geolocation sensor, and that detects you know, pinpoint accuracy of you know, where you are upon the Earth. So longitude, latitude, uh, and a bunch of additional data that can use, you know, such as heading and um, you know vertical accuracy and, and stuff like mm -hmm. that. And you can use that that data that comes back through that sensor to actually, you know, either just display it on the screen as text or to actually manipulate different objects that you're displaying on the screen. Excellent. So I, while you were talking, it, it kind of came up in my head with an idea for an exercise that could maybe connect all these topics together. Um, so if you choose to follow us and do these exercises, um, one thing that you could do, for example, is uh, how about load in the map? And do you know that game that I, I don't remember the name of the game where you have a ball and you're supposed to avoid having that ball fall into um, the hole that's, um, I forgot the name of the game. Um, sure. I think there's a few games like that. Yeah, you know, but the original, yeah. the you know, the one that was made of wood, and he had like, you know, the, as a kid, as a kid, I remember playing it. All right, so imagine a game similar to that, um, but instead of that, the ball is on on Earth on on a map, and you need to avoid lakes. So if the ball hits a lake, then uh, the ball disappears. So obviously a silly game, but that way you could um, connect between the geolocation, the geolocation, and the excel accelerometer, and just play with it and come up with a. Um, kind of like a live map little game that's based on locations. Um, so that's my idea. Obviously, you could come up with any other idea. I do encourage you to, to try to mix and match the two together just for your practice if you're new to it. Uh, just try to come up with something where you're using both geolocation and Excel, Excelometer, and then you know for sure that you definitely uh, understand Chapter 3 and know how to integrate it into a live project. Um, does that sound fair? Yeah. No, I think that's something that could easily be done. Cool. Um, you know, with gaming, and especially with the, the focus of future development on the Flash platform with gaming, right. I think that'd probably be, uh, you know, a pretty good way to, to look at that.